Hello students, welcome to Angel Health Academy. Topic for the day or topic for the session is Differentiate between Epidemiological Approach and Evidence Based Approach. As you know that Epidemiology itself is a research or a study, okay, scientific study in preventive and social medicine. So we have different approaches in epidemiological study. I have been already uploaded a video about the approaches in epidemiological studies. In that two important approaches, epidemiological approach and evidence based approach. In this video, I would like to discuss about the difference between epidemiological approach or method or evidence based approach or evidence based practice. The epidemiological approach or method is primarily concerned or refers with the understanding the health and the disease, health status of the people and the disease patterns of the disease in a population, in the community or in the society or in the ward, state etc. So, it is primarily concerned with the understanding the health status of the people and the disease pattern or disease occurrence in a population. While the evidence based approach is about applying the best available research evidence okay, to make the informed decisions in clinical practice, community settings and in public health interventions or programs. So after this epidemiological study or the epidemiological approach or method, we can use the result of the, the study to render various nursing care or community health nursing services to the public and to initiate various public health programs or interventions or make different public health measures. That is known as the application of or applying the best available research evidence to make informed decisions in clinical practice, in the clinical area or clinical settings or in the community settings and for the public health interventions or initiations. Thus, both epidemiological approach and evidence-based approach are essential in community health nursing or in preventive and social medicines, but they serve different purposes in healthcare services and public health decision making to promote the health of the people. So, in this video, we will discuss what are the difference between epidemiological approach or method and evidence-based approach or method. So, whenever you answer a question like differentiate based on the question paper, you make a table with the three columns. First column, you can write the aspects or the features, okay. Second column and third column, that is in respect to the topic, okay, the differentiation topic. So, the first aspect based on the differentiation between epidemiological approach and, and evidence-based approach is regarding the scope, okay. The scope of epidemiological approach is on population level. So, we are applying and we are using, uh, we are collecting data at the population level. So, the scope is on the population level which aim or aiming to understand the causes, distribution and pattern of the various disease occurrence within the group of people or within the community. So, the scope of epidemiological approach is on the population level or at population level that is aiming to understand or determine the etiology, distribution among the population and the patterns of the different diseases both communicable and non-communicable diseases within a group of people or within a community or ward. Whereas, the scope of evidence-based approach is more on applying the best available research evidence. After the study, the result we are going to apply, okay. That is the scope of the evidence-based approach. That is, the scope of evidence-based approach is more on applying the best available research evidence to the clinical settings or the public health practice or community health nursing services for individual patients or for the whole population level interventions. Okay. Thus, in epidemiological approach, the scope is on population level to understand the or to determine the etiology, distribution and pattern of various diseases among the population. Whereas, in evidence-based approach, it is we are applying that information, that study result as best available evidence research for the individual, for the promotion of the health and for the whole population with the different levels of interventions based on the evidence of the previous studies. Then second is the focus. The focus of epidemiology deals with the understanding the what, where, who and why of the disease occurrence in a group of people or in a population in the community. 
and use of that knowledge to control the particular problems or issues okay within the population or group of population or in the community so the focus in epidemiology or epidemiological approach deals with the understanding or determine what is the problem where is the problem occurred who are the people affected and why what is the reason for that particular occurrence of that problem of the infectious diseases or communicable diseases and their control within the population with the use of same information that is collected during the epidemiological approach or epidemiological methods. Whereas the focus of evidence-based practice emphasize how health care or public health decision should be made based on the best available evidence or research. Okay. So here in evidence-based practice, it emphasizes, it gives importance to how this result of the study best utilized okay in a population to promote the health and well-being of that particular people thus evidence-based practice emphasize how health care or public health decisions various actions or measures should be made based on the best available evidence of the epidemiological study then third feature is third aspect is data source so the information collected in epidemiological approach from the population so data sources uses population level data example incidence of any particular problem prevalence of the problem and risk factors of that particular problem and changing trends of the occurrence of that particular problem or disease or the fluctuation of the particular disease etc okay incidence is nothing but the new cases prevalence is total new and the old cases the total number of people affected with that particular problem risk factors is nothing but various factors influencing that particular problem trends is the time fluctuation when the disease occurs okay that is maybe seasonally okay maybe monthly according to that okay whereas the data source in epidemiological based approach relies mainly on high quality studies so we collect the evidence based practice that is from the result of the high quality studies or research example is randomized controlled trials where we apply the randomization okay and even data sources that is evidences we are taken from systematic reviews okay of a systematic studies and even critical appraisal of the available research okay after the study we go for the critical analysis or critical review or monitoring of the result of the particular study okay so the data source in epidemiological approach is from the population level okay we collect the data from population level and the source is population whereas the data source of evidence based approach is which is relies on or which is emphasize on high quality studies conducted in the community under epidemiology then the fourth feature is regarding objectives so in epidemiological approach the objective is largely descriptive study and analytical nature it includes descriptive study and the analytical study descriptive study identify the disease occurrence distribution or patterns according to the person according to the place and according to the time okay analytical study go further about the what is the relationship between the etiology and the particular problem okay if there is any association between the risk factors and the outcome of the disease okay thus the epidemiological approach is largely descriptive and analytical in nature which is aiming to identify the risk factors and the causes of the particular disease occur in the community and inform that result to the public health policies or public health authorities to take various measures and actions to control that particular problem whereas the objectives of evidence based approach is prescriptive okay which is aiming to inform the clinical setting and the public health decisions based on the proved research findings based on the evidence based practice so it is a prescriptive in nature which is aiming to inform the clinical settings to modify the clinical practices based on the proved research findings or evidence based practice okay and this evidence also helps to various public health decisions and making interventions based on the evidence based practice. Thus objectives of epidemiological approach is descriptive and analytical nature and objectives of the evidence based approach is prescriptive in nature. The last aspect is feature is techniques used in the epidemiological approach and the evidence based approach. So in epidemiological approach we collect the data by using the technique of six W's. Okay. 
that is what is the health event okay what is the problem what is the magnitude what is the percentage of the problem in that particular area and how many people are affected and where is the problem is started and when it occurred who are the people affected and why it is caused okay these are the six w's of epidemiological approach as a technique used in data collection sir whereas in evidence based approach we use uh, six a's okay that is ask acquire that is enquire appraise monitor and analyze then application that is apply and evaluation that is audit or assess so the six a's of evidence based practice or approach includes uh, ask acquire appraise analyze apply and audit or assess or evaluate so thanks for watching hope this video really benefits in your studies and exams if you feel it is really worth and beneficial please like share and subscribe my channel and stay tuned with the angel health academy for the next and important academic video the important thing is convey your gratitude and regards in the comment box thanks for once again for watching my video see you and take care